Have you ever walked into a barbershop with a picture of your favorite celebrity only to leave disappointed? Well, it's probably because that haircut was not suitable to your face shape. Hey GQ, I'm Matty Conrad. Today I'm gonna break down for you the nine basic face shapes and help you determine which hairstyles are gonna be suitable to yours. This is the grooming guide. When I think of oval face shapes, I think of celebrities like Justin Bieber, ASAP Rocky, Brian Gosling, oh, and Henry Golding. The oval face shape is widest at the brow and has softer angles with an angular jawline. This is probably one of the most versatile face shapes that there is, mostly because the oval face shape is the perfect balance between width and height. Look at Justin Bieber. He's often wearing hairstyles that are swept up and back and kept lean on the sides, and this is very flattering, creates a more angular appearance to the face shape. Things that don't necessarily work great for oval face shapes is fringe styles, things that shorten the appearance of the face. This idea is perfectly illustrated in these two photos of Justin Bieber. You see in the first photo, he's wearing his hair cropped down forward just a little bit, and it creates a softer look to his jaw. But as soon as he's wearing his hairstyle back, you can see a much more angular shape to his bottom jaw. I suggest keeping the sides nice and tight and wearing the hair either back off the face or parted to the side. Guys with oval face shapes, they usually look best with just a mustache because it keeps the bottom part of the jaw exposed, which is often a little more angular and lean looking. The objective with any hairstyle is to bring a sense of balance to the shape of your face. You don't wanna create something that is too wide or something that is too narrow. Round. Round face celebrities are guys like Michael Cera, Jeremy Renner. This type of face shape is almost as wide as it is tall. The widest point of a round face shape is the cheekbones, and the face features are usually slightly lower on the face. Usually they have fuller cheeks and a slightly rounded, softer jawline. So let's look at this first image from Michael Cera. I wouldn't recommend this. His hairstyle is much wider on the sides, creates a lots of volume out to the sides of the head rather than the top of the head, which makes it look even wider. Now, the only reason this works for Michael Cera is because of his personality. The rest of his style has a certain doesn't give a fuck quality, and you really have to respect that. Sometimes irony is cool. Grooming tip number 147. It's good to follow guidelines, but ultimately the choice is yours because confidence is sexy. Let's have a look at Michael Sarah's facial hair choices. Now on the left side, you'll see that he's rocking just a mustache, which is very cool right now, but it's not something I usually recommend for guys with round face shapes because just a mustache actually creates a slightly wider appearance to the face, especially contrasted against the next photo where he's got a full beard on the bottom and a more angular outline, which creates a leaner look to his face shape, thus bringing it into balance. So by just choosing a mustache, you're emphasizing the width, but by adding the beard to the bottom and an angular outline, you're elongating the appearance of the shape, bringing it into balance. Are you sensing a theme here? Good. Conversely, let's look at Jeremy Renner. This is a guy that's playing by the rules and it's working out beautifully for him. When it comes to a round face shape, I definitely recommend keeping a leaner shape on the side, something nice and tight that creates a very angular appearance and creating some height on top. Grooming tip number 32. If you're looking for a little height on top, it's time to get a blow dryer. If you don't have one, well, ask your partner. If you don't have a partner, it's because you don't have a blow dryer. This type of face shape usually benefits more from an angular style. So haircuts that are lean on the sides and create a little bit more height through the front and top. You wanna try and avoid hairstyles that wear down in the front and create a fringe or hairstyles that are too wide in the sides because they amplify the width of the face shape. Your goal with a round face shape is to stretch it out slightly, making it appear more oval. Square. Now, when you think of a square face shape, Think of guys like Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert Pattinson, Pedro Pascal, and Michael B. Jordan. Now the one thing you're gonna notice about a square face shape is it's not quite as elongated as a rectangular face shape. You'll usually notice that the features sit slightly lower on the face, especially when you look at a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. Even though he has a very square face shape, his eyes are a little lower set and the rest of his features sit a little lower in his face shape and he has quite a prominent forehead. Anytime you break away from the solid vertical lines on the side of the head by interrupting them with a little bit of volume or shape is a great way to soften out the overall appearance of a square face shape. Perfect example with Leonardo DiCaprio. You can see that even though he's wearing a very classic parted hairstyle, which creates a more angular look, he's left the sides not sheared short. They are still full, a little bit layered, and it gives it just a slightly softer appearance, balancing out the rest of the shape of his face. 
Now let's look at Robert Pattinson. One thing I like about what he does is he also wears his hair a little looser and a little more natural, slightly tousled, which creates a little bit more volume and a little more softness to the overall look. When it comes to Michael B. Jordan, you can see for his facial hair, he wears a really nice clean cut mustache in what we call an anchored style. That means he has a small goatee at the bottom. And what that actually does for his face shape is give it a slight elongation, which brings it into balance. Traditionally, I usually recommend guys wear hairstyles that are a little bit more side swept, it's like a layered classic haircut. One of the things you really want to stay away from on a square face shape is anything that shortens the appearance of the forehead. When you wear the hair down to the front and maybe a little swept off the side, it gives you a more youthful appearance. But that has diminishing returns and I don't recommend wearing that hairstyle past the age of about 25. Gourmet tip number 77. Age matters to your hairstyle. Some hairstyles will make you look slightly younger and some will make you look like you're trying to look younger. Try and avoid the latter. Now you can choose a mustache or not. I honestly recommend just keeping a short shaped stubble to show off that square jaw. It's probably one of your best features. Oblong. Think guys like Jake Gyllenhaal or The Rock. Guys with an oblong head shape usually are a little broader. They have a slightly more elongated shape and a strong jawline. The oblong head shape is ideal for bald guys. Look at The Rock. The Rock doesn't have any hair on top, but his face shape still looks nice and balanced and his jawline looks really nice and strong. Grooming tip number 54, ditch the comb over. You're really not fooling anyone. Besides, bald is sexy. When it comes to picking facial hair for an oblong face shape, goatee style is usually very complimentary. It actually creates a little bit more of an anchor for the chin shape instead of creating a wider look that a beard will give it. Remember, that jawline, it's wide enough. Relax a little on that thing. Now here is Jake Gyllenhaal. You can see when he wears his hair very short, instead of taking a high fade, he leaves it a little soft in the sides, creating a little bit more of a balanced, rounded shape to it. That's gonna be very complimentary to his elongated head shape. But even when he wears his hair a little bit longer, you can see he leaves a little bit of flow and width on the top, just as much as he is creating just a little bit of height. One of the things that I think looks particularly good in this style for Jake is that his hairstyle is softer, rounder, creates a little bit more fullness, and the outlines that are nice and rounded and natural give it a little bit more of an oval appearance to his face shape, de-emphasizing both the length of his face and his jawline. Now when it comes to an oblong head shape, you're usually looking for a haircut that presents a little bit more of a balanced shape. You're not necessarily looking to create any more height than you are width. So if you wear your hair short, usually something that has a little bit more softness in the sides and a little shorter on top can be very complimentary. If you wanted to grow your hair out, you really do need to pair a little bit of length on top with the equal length on the sides. This is what's gonna help it keep balance. Rectangular. Now when it comes to the rectangular face shape, I think of celebrities like Joe Alwyn or Chad Michael Murray. The rectangular is often viewed as a slightly more angular version of oval. It's usually characterized by a higher forehead and a little bit more symmetrical. The difference between a rectangular face shape and an oval face shape though is a broader chin. So let's look at Joe Alwyn's hairstyle and see what he did right here. You can see that he's got a lot of texture and a little bit more fullness in the sides instead of keeping them really tight and lean. And this gives out an overall balance to his face shape. Same with Chad Michael Murray. When you see Chad Michael Murray's hair, he's got a little bit more of a side swept and he leaves the sides just a little longer to create a little bit more fullness. One of the really great benefits of a rectangular face shape is that you can also wear it very short and almost militaristic style because the rounder, more natural shape that that gives the head will again soften the look of the extreme angles. So it gives it a little bit more of a balance look. Flattering hairstyles are going to be things that have a little bit more texture and just a little bit more volume on the sides. You want to stay away from haircuts that are going to be really harsh, lean, and angular because you're going to overemphasize the angular nature of the face shape. Because the rectangular face shape has a really strong jaw already, you can go either clean shaven or keep a shorter stubble that has a nice natural outline. You want to try and avoid things like chin straps or low rider beards, things that really overemphasize the angular nature of the jaw. Triangle. A great example of a triangular face shape is Killian Murphy or Timothy Chalamet. The triangular face shape is characterized by the jawbone being wider than the cheekbones with a pointed chin and a slightly narrower brow. 
If you ask me, it doesn't look like Timothy Chalamet's had a haircut in eight months. But something about the look really works for him. He creates a little bit of a curtain effect on the corners of his head shape that create a slightly more narrow looking forehead. This is really, really beneficial. This type of head shape often benefits from something that has a little bit more coverage near the forehead, or at least in the corners. This somehow de-emphasizes the width of the forehead and brings everything else into balance. Grooming tip number 47. Don't shampoo your hair every day, especially if it's longer. All it's gonna do is make it dry and puffy. A little grease never hurt nobody. When it comes to your facial hair choices for a triangular face shape, you already have one of the strongest jaw shapes there is. So I highly suggest just going clean cut and clean shaven. Leave it out there for the world to see. The diamond. Diamond face shape celebrities are guys like Jason Derulo, James Harden, Jamie Kennedy. A diamond shaped face is always widest at the cheekbones, slightly more narrow through both the forehead and the chin. Let's look at Jason Derulo because this is a really great example of both what to do right and what he's doing wrong. You can see in this picture that he's really emphasizing the length of his face by creating a style that has a lot of height on top and is very narrow high up, almost creating a more triangular shape on top. Also with his beard, it's elongated at his chin and kept narrow everywhere else, which creates an even longer look to his chin. So it creates a really heavy diamond shape. Now in this photo, what he's doing is absolutely right. He's limited the amount of height that he has on top and kept the shape a little bit wider and a little rounder. And when it comes to his facial hair, he's left it at natural outlines and kept it nice and short and tight around the chin. This is a really great way to de-emphasize the angular nature of his face shape and brings it more into balance. Now the diamond face shape also is complemented by fuller, larger beards like James Harden. James Harden, I mean, the guy has just grown a huge beard. He's dominant on the court. It's very intimidating. I mean, there is something really intimidating about a guy with a giant beard. What's up? James Harden has a very pointy chin and a strong diamond shape with his width being right at his cheekbones. But because he creates a broad, natural looking beard, it de-emphasizes the angular nature of the bottom, which allows him to wear his hair nice and tight on top. Even though that slightly emphasizes the narrow nature of his head shape, it brings it into balance by creating more width on the bottom. This type of face shape usually benefits from something that creates a little bit more width on the top in the corners and is a little bit more soft and rounded, not something that is angular and high centered. Heart shape. Celebrities with heart shaped faces are guys like Nick Jonas, Harry Styles, Shawn Mendes. Heart shape, sounds more like heart throb to me. Now, a heart-shaped face is usually a wider forehead, wider cheekbones, but a narrow chin. And what that means for choosing a hairstyle is that texture and softness and curl and movement usually work best. In fact, I think that's one of the reasons why this face shape has become so synonymous with these celebrities is because the hairstyles that most guys are wanting to wear these days have a little bit more softness and a little bit more movement to them. Grooming tip number 249. If you're trying to create a softer, wavier look in your hair, avoid using pomade and sticky gel products. Use a paste, like a grown-up. Now often, if you have a widow's peak, you're probably gonna have a heart-shaped face. It doesn't have to be really exaggerated, sometimes just very subtle in the case of Harry Styles. But you can see what he does with his hairstyle really complements that look. He's somebody that wears his hair up off his face, but not straight back. He often wears it a little bit looser, that has nice little pieces coming down the side to de-emphasize the width of his forehead. But it also really complements the strength of his jaw shape. So it's not necessarily about making it look leaner and tighter. However, that also can be very complementary. Look at Nick Jonas. The way that Nick Jonas wears his hair is often very tight on the sides, nice and high up. But what he's doing right is that he's leaving that soft textured feel to his hairstyle. That plays out really nicely against the angular nature of the jaw shape on a heart-shaped face, giving it a sense of balance. So there's not like one descript haircut that you need to have for this. It's more about the type of a feeling your haircut should have, and that should be loose and natural. The thing you want to avoid is anything that emphasizes the narrowness of the chin. And most guys with a heart-shaped face often just opt for a short shaped stubble. The pair. Think guys like Zach Galifianakis, Anthony Anderson. This is a face shape that is denoted simply by having a slightly narrower forehead, a little bit wider on the cheekbones, and widest at the jaw. Now, this is a type of face shape that can be a little transformative because a lot of the time, a wider jaw, it denotes having a little bit more weight on your face. And some guys that have gone through some extreme weight loss will notice that that face shape changes slightly to something a little more angular and a bit more square. But the jawline is still usually fairly wide set. 
Now, Anthony Anderson is a guy that also has a pear-shaped face, and you can see in this photo, he wears his hair really tight. I think I'd prefer to see his hair a little bit longer. See, something like this is a little more complimentary to his face shape. It just creates a little bit more of a broad statement up top, something that doesn't make his head shape look too narrow, and therefore his jawline looks just a little bit more balanced and soft. Same goes for Zach Galifianakis. Always I like to see him with slightly softer hairstyles that create a little bit more width. You can see that it flows nicely, creates a little bit more of a broad shape up top. So the goal for a haircut for a pear-shaped face is to create a little bit more width through the top, which balances out the wideness of the jaw. Hairstyles you want to avoid with this face shape are anything that is high and tight, because those are very narrow looking shapes. And the more narrow the top looks, the wider the bottom looks. So when it comes to facial hair for guys with a pear-shaped face, you're going to want to go with something that is a little bit more of a structured angular beard. Remember, all that means is that the outlines are a little bit more straight lines and corners instead of rounded, soft shapes. So by wearing more angular beards, I find that most guys with a pear-shaped face often create the illusion of a slightly stronger looking jaw and a narrow looking face shape. Grooming tip number 284. If you're trying to maintain a short beard, it's best to invest in a good quality beard trimmer. It'll last you longer and keep you looking sharper. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you want to find your own face shape, just take a picture of yourself on your cell phone. When you go in to do the edit, use the marker icon and just start drawing the shapes around your face. Whichever one tends to line up most is probably your face shape. I'm Matty Conrad. Good luck and good grooming.